Over the last uh, 98 to 100 years, four cornerstone investors played a major part in the company's um, success. That starts from as early as 1911, when Edward Eager uh, arrived into Australia trying to find the right models for the Australian market. His son, Fred Eager, uh, was involved throughout that stage, and he and the Green family, who joined in uh, 1917, basically took the company through until the 80s, when Alan Piper, um, who owned Alan uh, Piper Motors, merged with the AP Eagers Group in 1992, and Alan reinvigorated the group for the next eight years. Nick Politis um, bought Alan's share, and Nick Politis has been uh, a cornerstone investor for the last 11 years. Edward George Eager was um, an American and um, large in the life character. He arrived um, in Australia in 1911 and he decided to import the uh, Willis Overland and then founded the company in 1913. The Overland Whippet was extremely successful for the company. The motor vehicle is more advanced than its time suggests the absolute right product at the right time for um, the buying public at that time. After great success with the Overland vehicle, Fred Eager and George Green made decisions that they should get involved with the General Motors Group, which subsequently then became General Motors Holden in Australia. And the company had stopped importing Overland vehicles uh, and moved on to representing the General Motors Group at the time. So that was a pretty major change. General Motors Holden, for many Queenslanders, is synonymous with the Eagers Group. It was extremely important for the history. It's still very important right now. And today, the motor company represents 31 different car brands and 12 truck and bus brands. In 1911, three cars a week, 356 employees by the time we got to 1937. Today, we sell 1,250 cars a week. We've got 2,900 employees and more than 50% of them would be shareholders in the company. The current employee team would own 10% of the company. Um, our turnover a decade ago was half a billion dollars and our turnover today is 2.4 billion. Eagers was a, an asset-rich company and earnings poor. On the other hand, AP Group uh, had uh, a small level of assets, uh, but a number of uh, franchises uh, and, uh, and good earning potential. It made sense for the two to come together. Alan Piper was the key to revitalising the group. He had a, a, a great um, knowledge of the, uh, of the products that he's dealing with. Uh, he was uh, able to uh, liaise very closely with the manufacturers and uh, gain support from them for the redevelopment that took place. At the beginning of 2005, the company's entire operations were in Queensland. Now, 55% uh, of the company's um, operations are now outside of Queensland. The group uh, has a rich history of uh, being involved in charitable uh, events. Uh, it, it really was part of the culture of, uh, of the group. Um, the Eagers saw charity as being part of the way of life in America and uh, brought uh, this benevolence into uh, their business dealings uh, in, uh, in Queensland. All of the dealerships within the group uh, make uh, donations to various uh, charitable organisations, uh, predominantly uh, within their local area. George Green was knighted in 1963 by Queen Elizabeth II for uh, his charitable and uh, philanthropic work. I think the single greatest success of the AP Eagles group quite genuinely has been this ability to um, uh, adapt to the changes that are there. It's been demonstrated many times historically. That ability to adapt 
whilst being able to maintain values, the ethical values, the honesty, uh, the openness. And finally, the owners of the company are truly people that understand the motor industry and therefore in good and bad times have not deserted the company. We don't only have our head office in Queensland, we're very proud to keep our head office in Queensland. We are truly a Queensland company that for 95 years was purely Queensland and has now expanded nationally. There's a pride that is inherent in working for or being part of an iconic Queensland company with its head office in Brisbane.